Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can already see by the title, as I say every time, I'm inviting you to come and give blood with me. Uh, today, oh, let me turn that down a bit. It's very hot, very hot. Um, today, I'm going to go and try again to give blood the reason i am preaching it is because i know what it's like to be someone who's really passive about it. it's like yeah i need to give blood at some point and then you never get around to it or someone who just doesn't think about it i've had to come straight from work i've driven like i don't even know where i am right now it's quite a random part of cardiff um, i've had to come straight from work and i'm just going to try and donate before i go back and sort a load of other stuff out and like life admin so i get it that life can be busy fun fact about me i despise needles when i had surgery before i cried when <laughs> when I went under induction, how embarrassing. You might be watching this thinking, oh yeah, but she's a doctor, she doesn't mind blood and stuff. In medical school, some of my peers and other students used to like practice cannulas on each other. I was like, I'm good. I'm not, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. I don't even like it when professionals do it, let alone my peers who I know are still learning how. This isn't some, oh yay, let's go get pinpricked, but I know it's important and I wanna help people. It helps other people live and I want to be part of that. I'm so blessed to be in a position where I can give blood, so I'm going to. Um, yeah, enough talking before I actually talk my way out of the appointment. I'm going to down some of this and go inside and hopefully they won't mind me vlogging a bit. I'll tell them that I'm trying to share the love and trying to get them more donors. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> so giving blood was super chilled and easy. I entered a hall where everything was set up. I was welcomed, given a bottle of water and handed this iPad to go through a whole load of questions which would let me know if I was eligible to give blood at that moment in time. Um, so I answered all those questions and then I went along to see a nurse and get a quick finger prick test uh, which checked my iron levels on the day to see if I could donate, which I passed. And then for the donations, they pop in this needle, which honestly looks a little bit threatening, but is weirdly comfortable because they tape it down so it doesn't move at all. And it was just like a little sharp scratch. Um, I was advised to keep pumping my hand, keep moving my uh, fingers to help the blood flow. And I was given a bit of literature to read over what would happen with the blood that I donated today. Um, if you aren't aware, there's a distinct lack of black donors. Uh, black and ethnic minority donors actually and we really need to give more blood because we often carry rare blood types which can be used to treat patients with diseases such as thalassemia and sickle cell and help them uh, recover from crises and enable them to live a healthier happier life i see it every day at work i see how much blood can really save a life and it felt so so good to be part of that I know a lot of us can't afford to give money, sometimes it's difficult to give time, um, but giving your blood is such a powerful way to literally save a life, um, and I'm so happy to be part of that. Oh, and you get a biscuit and a drink to finish too, so it's win-win. So that was it, you guys. I'm all dead. Look at my warrior bandage to prove it. <laughs> they say that I have to leave that on for about two hours. I was actually fine and I feel fine now. I had two chocolate bars. They've told me that I can't do any heavy lifting or exercise for 24 hours, which is kind of annoying so I didn't think that through because today was my rest day and now I have to have two rest days. Oh well, that's what you get for being a good person. But yeah, it was so fine. It was fine. Like the worst bit was the needle going in because it was a bit big, but that it actually was fine. The guy who did it for me was amazing. He was really calming and I knew he was using the same techniques on me to calm them down as I do on patients, but it worked a treat and I loved it. It actually was like a sharp scratch. And then he taped down the, um, the tube or whatever with the blood and um, so that it wouldn't weigh on it now towards the end it did start weighing a bit and it was getting a bit uncomfortable um but it was fine it took like 15 minutes they got the blood um and then the lady who took it out took it out really quickly as well it was just so little pain so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed coming with me to give blood i'm so glad i've done that i feel absolutely fine and i thank god for good health and opportunity to be able to be a blessing to someone else and i look forward to returning back in 16 weeks when i can donate again leave me a comment let me know whether you'll be giving blood anytime soon or whether you're a regular and a pro um i will see you guys in the comments to be honest so yeah love you bye <laughs>